I have Billy Barty on the line, and uh, it sure is a negative way to start an interview, but I think what you're working on these days, Billy, is very, very important. First of all, let me say it's a pleasure to talk to you. Well, thank you very much, Ken. It's wonderful uh, talking to you. I have laughed at you hy hysterically because you've been in some very funny movies and, in fact, uh, go way back to the days of Spike Jones. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was eight years with Spike. Yeah. I was telling you I got to be real good friends with George Rock. And, uh, oh, yeah. All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. <laughs> That's right. And I was uh, I have had a chance to talk with a number of the people in the band, and, of course, uh, you were with Spike for, for uh, as you said, quite a while. Yeah, eight years. Yeah. You have been an actor and uh, have made people laugh uh, over the years. Well, I started when I was three. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. Uh, I'm still going. Yeah. You have uh, really worked for, what are we trying to say, better understanding when it comes to dealing with little people. Yeah, I, I uh, founded the Little People of America in 1957, and then I started the uh, Billy Marty Foundation in 1975, and I've been very involved in... Not only helping little people, but helping the general public and government and the business world to understand that, listen, we're just like anybody else. Yeah. Why is it that people laugh at, uh, at people in some cases because of, of height or weight or, or anything else? And is that really cruel or is that just, uh, if you're doing it on purpose, I guess it's okay? Or how do you feel about it? Well, it depends upon how the individual thinks. We must take it uh, for what it is. And, and, and what it is is just somebody not knowing or uh, understanding what's taking place or what's happening. And, 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 you know, kids you can forgive because they're, they're saying and they're doing whatever they, they, they think is right. Mm -hmm. uh, adults, hey, we've got to educate them. That's all. Yeah. What is, the, what is the hardest thing to deal with if you are a little person? I'm trying to, to figure out what, what in the world went. It's like anything else that uh, has to do with something unusual. And, and, and I can simply define it as stupidity. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're uncomfortable with something we're not uh, familiar with. Uncomfortable with, but the other person is. Right. And then it, that if you don't really understand who you are or what you are, then, then that can become uh, a uh, troublesome. Yeah. It's like I've heard blind people say, why do people yell at me when they talk at me? I can hear all right. <laughs> That's exactly right. We, we've got to accept it, you know, for what it is and understand it. It's not easy. I'm not saying it's easy. It's easy, but it, it, it's, it's a fact. Yeah. We've tossed terms around that may be offensive uh, nowadays. I know I've heard the term midget. I've heard the term dwarf. I've heard the term little people. And I guess probably little people is the most gentle of them all. Well, yeah, well, you know, dwarf is the proper word, really. There's no such thing as a midget. A midget is a man-made term. And really, a midget is pertaining to a hyperpituitary or a pituitary type of dwarf. So, but when you say dwarf, all you're talking about, all dwarf really means is short, and nobody should get uptight with that. I wouldn't think so. No. No. Uh, you have a record out from where I stand. Oh, yeah, yeah. We put that out, the uh, Billy Barty Foundation, and the proceeds from the sale of this will go to our foundation. we got a lot of a wonderful people who have participated in this. Uh, Carl Anderson and Alice Hall are doing the vocal. And Marilyn Burgless uh, wrote the lyrics, and, and it's just uh, uh, a positive thinking song, and, and we're, very we're very pleased with it. Now, you sing on this, do you? No. Well, well a whole bunch of us sing. I sing. We have a choir of about uh, 80 little people and about 35 celebrities and a few vocal groups. Okay. Question for you. Were you, in, you weren't in The Wizard of Oz, were you? No. I missed that by about four years. Okay. Um... You were, in, you were in some funny things. I was trying to remember. You were in a Chevy Chase movie, weren't you? Oh, yeah. I was in Foul Play, yeah. Under, Under the Rainbow. Uh, then I did uh, things like uh, W.C. Fields and Me. Uh, with Rod Steiger? Yeah, right. The, uh, and Day of the Locust. That's right. You traveled across country with Rod Steiger. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And then I did uh, Masters of the Universe, Rumpelstiltskin. You know, I... I got 200 movies. <laughs> yeah. There was a fellow by the name of uh, Little, Frankie Little, who was with the Spike Jones group. Was oh, he? Frankie Little. Yeah. yeah. In fact, I replaced Frankie Little with Spike Jones. I see. That's all right. And he became a very dear friend of mine. Yeah. I heard he passed away a couple of years ago. I think, yeah, I think he did, in fact. Yeah. I'll tell you, George has some great stories to tell about Frankie Little. Uh, I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, I wanted to... George may have a great story to tell about me. I don't know. Well, I think he did, as a matter of fact. He really had a wonderful time. He was a beautiful guy. I love George and talented. Yeah.
Well, everybody in that group was really with it because uh, oh, yeah. that was not just hit and miss comedy. That's true. Yeah. I remember seeing you doing uh, your impression of Liberace at a little miniature piano along with a fellow by the name of um, uh, Sir Frederick Gass. Yeah. 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 Earl Bennett. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, listen, I want to thank you, and uh, if we well, can... Listen, I want to thank you, Ken, and, and you know, the, if everybody can go in and ask for From Where I Stand, it's a beautiful song, and if you feel lousy in the morning, then you play this song, you'll feel very good. I'm going to try to get a hold of a copy of it. It must be available in the record store. Oh, yeah, yeah, Chameleon Records, okay. in the record store. It's out right now. All right. If anybody... We have a video tape of it uh, from the Billy Barty Foundation. If, uh, if anybody who is listening would like to get a hold of the foundation, how do they reach it? Just give me a call. I'm here at 818-953-5410. And uh, just write to us at 4007 West Magnolia Boulevard, Burbank, beautiful downtown Burbank, <laughs> 91505. Okay. They can call me, or I'm, I'm here all the time. Yeah. I think understanding and uh, concern, I don't know, the suicide thing is so scary to me. Uh, you well, hear? I, I hate to comment on it because, I tell you, I really don't know why, and I hate to speculate why. Right. All I know, David was a wonderful person, a great actor. Uh, it's so important to become involved with support groups, and that's why the little people of America is very important, not only for parents, but for little people, and the Billy Barty Foundation is too. Because we've been through it. We, we, we know what the hardships are, but there's a, there's a, a good ending. Yeah. Many, do you have any idea how many little people there are? And is it to, is, you know, is, is little... Is well, I'll tell you what, 1.5 million little people, people of short stature in these United States, and 150,000 of them will be of skeletal dysplasias. I'm sorry, they'll be what? Skeletal dysplasias. Okay, which you... means you're a chondroplastic type, you're diastrophic type, you're Turner syndrome, you're uh, multiple epiphyseal. You see, there's 200 different types of little people. I see. It's a very interesting study. We have a lot of the answers. And if a lot of little people want to know about clothing, how to drive an automobile, uh, employment, uh, scholarships, uh, the Billy Barty Foundation takes part in this. Okay. I imagine it does. You don't change cars every year if you're a little people. Our little person, you probably well, you can though. Can you? Yeah, if you can afford it. Yeah. We got extensions. You just put them on and take them off. Okay. Terrific. Yeah. I want to thank you for spending some time with us. Thank you very much, Ken. And uh, please have the little people that you know call us, and we will put uh, the little person in touch with the uh, district director in in your specific area. Okay, Billy Barty speaking out for little people. Thank you. Thank you.